Conrad, Hello. You, you work with tetrahedral pattern. With tetrahedrons and geometry in general, I mean, I'm, a lot of the work is really, I, I have a strong belief and intuition that, that geometry means something and there's, there's meaning within geometry. Uh, my, my monograph that, um, that I have is, is called Psychogeometry. So I'm really um, pretty, pretty certain, but, I'm not, but I, well, what's, what I love about it is not knowing what the meaning is and everyone sees some different meaning and implication of an angle or of a form or of a geometric arrangement. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that there's meaning within this, but it's just, but it's but elusive. Eden. But it's the, the tetrahedron or geometry in general, the angles, the rake, the proportion, all of this stuff, it's, it's so pleasing to the, to the mind, to the brain. But I think what's light, nice about it is also that it's poetic, so everyone sees uh, different things within geometry, depending on your, on your, on your culture, your, your, your gender, your sexuality, your education, your love, your trauma. All, everyone sees something different within that, within any piece of art. But, but um, and within mathematics, I think that's the, it's the same as the case, and within within geometry. So these works are very rule-based, like most of my works. They're called fracture. This yeah. is a fracture broad. This is a fracture slender, and this is a fracture regular. And they all use the, the dogma of the tetrahedron. So they 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 emerged from a tetrahedral stack. So there's a, there's a tetrahedix growing upwards inside of this one, which then the skin has been eroded and we've generated this stem inside the center, which supports this, um, uh, this kind of skin of um, fragmented leaves, which um, populate the surface of the forms. And they're growing, this is growing the slowest. This one is growing the fastest. This one at a, at a sort of a more at a, a median rate. But the, um, the characteristic of this shape is that there's always a fracture in it. Yeah, the, a lot of the works have this name, fracture or schism, and that there's all about um, this sense of collapse and, um, and vulnerability. The, the systems, often mechanical that I make, are often complex systems on the edge of breakdown, on the edge of collapse, and I'm, I'm very drawn to this kind of quite the pathos of this sense of, um, of vulnerability, of collapse, or of that, that, we, that our, our perceptions are very limited, that we're, we, we need to try and see beyond our perception envelope uh, and um, chisel away at what we believe to be real uh, and um, undermine what, the completeness of our reality. But so uh, it, does it mean you are a bit pessimistic too? Um, I don't know if I'm pessimistic. I'm, I'm interested in, I get excited by, um, by every time I realize that my preconceptions are false. And when, uh, what is your next project? Uh, my next project is, uh, well, I've got this wonderful piece in the desert that I just installed, it's opening on Thursday, and that's called The Patterns of Absence. And it's these two discs in the desert which are activated by the sun. And the sun, when there's the sun sets behind it, the, the discs, because they're populated with 200,000 holes. Here so in Alahain. Alahain, yes. And, um, and that'll be there for a few months. So it's, uh, it's like almost like a stained glass window in the desert. So it's, um, and you get these interference patterns um, of all the, all the holes interfere with each other as the light pa penetrates through the, through the surfaces. And you get almost like a murmurations of starlings or raindrops of water or these swirling tornadoes across the surface of the disks, which are absolutely, which are completely generated. They're, they're there, but they're actually generated through the absence of material, mm. which I also find really interesting. They almost look like um, uh, particle accelerators. So there's these flat disc-like forms, um, and they um, they sort of almost so. Sort of the, the, and what I like about the hole is it almost like, almost is a sort of metaphor for dark matter or something, because all these holes all over the surface are a sort of absence. And so, dark, like what I like about that is it sort of links to this idea of dark matter. These 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 particles which have we you can't studied find. mathematics? Just at school, I mean, I'm more interested in the idea of mathematics, so all the ideas it throws up and the way that it challenges our reality, but I would have been a terrible mathematician. <laughs> it's better I stick to this. Merci. Thank you.